Well, here we are in the Essex Needles Retreat Room. There is a flurry of activity happening here today. Massive amounts of stitching and lots and lots of people. I'm having an absolute blast. I'm going to do the usual. We're going to go around the room. We're going to see all the things from all the lovely people. And yeah, yeah, be wowed. Be wowed, people, by all of the lovely, lovely goodness. So I'm going to spin the camera around and we're going to go on our trundles around the room and we're going to talk to some ladies and we're going to see what they're stitching. So first up is uh, Mary. So I recognise this, this design. Well, it's evening in the park. Would you like to hold the, the end out just so that and, we, can, um, we can prove what it is? My friend Teresa has decided she doesn't want to stitch it anymore, so that's, I'm stitching it. That's not true. But I'm also going to have it hanging up in my house? Uh, no, that's also <laughs> not true. So, as you know, there was a number of people that kindly agreed to stitch my trees, or some of my trees for me. And Mary these is trees. one of these people that was going to stitch one of these trees. Is poopy people. She has started one of my trees. Look at that. It's nerve wracking stitching somebody else's stitch. Are you scared? I am Are scared. You scared. Yeah. Why? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm going to mess it up. I'm scared. I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to put one stitch in the wrong place and the whole thing is going to be out of the way. It's going to be totally fine. Yeah. Yes, everything's fine. I've already checked it. Placement is perfect. We have orientated the stitching to make sure your stitches go in the same direction as mine. And anything that is unique on this, I will know. It's mine. It is a yeah. mere uniqueness. And also, at least these trees are stitched in silk, so I'm, I'm enjoying stitching in beautiful silks. Good. Well, thank you so, so much. You're very and welcome, yeah, thank love. you for taking the time to stitch my projects instead of yours. <laughs> Because even if I don't get well, your stitching somebody's done... Somebody's got to stitch your projects at these retreats because you don't. Oh, on that note, I'm moving on. <laughs> Thank you, honey. OK, so tell me, tell me. We have got a picture here of a... What is this? So, so this is the Celtic Spring. Now, this is the charted version, am I right? Yeah. OK. And then here on your phone, this is the same thing again... With a conversion? Yeah, from the Lavender and Lace Facebook. Right, so you've got this from the Lavender and Lace yeah. Facebook. And I'm assuming yours is the conversion, yeah, isn't it? it? So here... <gasps> oh my God, would you look at that? Yeah. What do you mean, don't look? How gorgeous that looks! Look! Wow, wow, wow! Look at her! So tell me, tell me, what fabric are we stitching this on? It's a... Um, it's sparkly, so I can't remember the colour. What count is it? It's a, tw it's a 28 count. And you're stitching this like the normal two over one. Two over two. Two over two. two, two, over two. Yeah, all two over two. And it's all done in the in the conversion that's on the Facebook group. That is gorgeous. So how long have you been working on this for? Mm, a couple of months probably. Only a couple of months? Wow. I so don't have many projects. So what, you're like a monogamous? No, I'm not monogamous. I've got about six. You've got about six, but you've given this a lot of attention and a lot of love, have you? Have you enjoyed working on it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. love. How long do you reckon? Another six months, maybe. Six months? Yeah, maybe. When am I seeing you again? I don't know. When are you coming back? <laughs> it's my first retreat. I know. Are you having I'm wonderful? Are it. you having? I'm absolutely loving Would it. Would you be so worried friendly. to come? Yes. And how? What? What? Oh, yeah. You know, first first impressions when you walk through the door as a newbie. Lovely. Relax. Very good. Lovely people. Well organised. Extremely well organised. Are you coming back? Lovely food. Lovely. Lovely. So when you come back, you're going to come and show me your finish, Hopefully. aren't you? You Hopefully. are. There is no hopeful. <laughs> and even if it's not finished, we can we can see. Where you've got to. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank, thank you, you so, so much thank for sharing. <gasps> How exciting is this? We have, we have, we have a friend from the USA. <gasps> hi. hi, everybody. So you have come all the way from Florida, and your name is Marianne Eck. And you go to some of the US retreats. I go to StitchCon and I did the New Jersey retreat. And uh, I want to say hi to Brenda. I want to say hi to um, because you guys are going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take about just you a hope, minute. Just you a minute. hope they are. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to say hi to Haley, Sharon, Tracy, because you guys all watch her. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, hi, Steph and, and Pam. Um, oh, Brenda. Brenda. You did say Brenda, or is this another Brenda? Oh, no, How Brenda. many Brendas Brenda, do we you know? know? Well, only one. Brenda, that hand, the who? Brenda, you know, I always forget your channel. What who is she? The handwork maniac. Handwork maniac, yeah. Okay. We know Brenda. And, uh, hi, Brenda. And, and, uh, <laughs> and my favorite, too, you know, Teresa. Well, I finally got to meet you. Oh. And Ellie. And yeah. everyone here is lovely. I'm having a great time, you guys. Oh, my God, you guys need to come. <laughs> yes, come to the... Look, I keep saying that I'm going to come to the States, and I really should. You do? I do. I do need to go at but some point. But you've never done a retreat? Never done a retreat I in the States. I thought you only came to the U.S. to do retreats. I've seen you in the U.S., and I thought you were at retreats. No, I just came over to see oh to gosh. see a friend at Arizona. And yeah. yeah, I remember that trip. That, guys, was that your only trip? I, I need to come to the States and yeah. do some retreats. But yes. as you can see, we have... Mary Ann oh with us. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, and you guys. She is, she is making sure that we know everything that we need to know about, about what goes on in the States. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to flip this around because we're going to have a little look and see what she's actually managed to achieve right. here in the UK. Yes. Okay, so tell me, tell me, it's what silver, am I looking at? Silver Moon Tea by Nora Corbett. It's a Nora Corbett. And um, I got this at StitchCon. I... I, I you could you could get a mystery box and you and, and they give you a little piece of paper before you go to StitchCon and they would ask you what are you interested in in cross stitching and they put a box together for you and this was my box. Oh, that is lovely. And they, and, yeah, so I got I got some extra pretty floss and they picked out the fabric and here's some you know some some of the pretty. Oh, how gorgeous! That so she she switched the colors around and I'm just following her. I forgot the lady's name who put this together. I'm just following her. Um, her color changes. Oh, right. So show me, show me. Where have you got uh, to? I've only gotten here. I started what, when I got here, and I've started on the upper left-hand uh, You're corner. in the upper left-hand yeah. corner? Yeah, and, and that's all I've, I've got. So, and this fabric that you're working on? This is Grace Notes fabric. Grace Notes. See, I, I, I did look at some of the fabrics. And by the there. way, Grace Notes fabric, because I know you watch, too, uh, you didn't give me the fabric that you, I was supposed to give her, remember? <laughs> yeah. You never came back to my table, so don't blame me. <laughs> well, it's lovely fabric. And what count is it that we're working on? It's 28. On? 28 count. Yeah. And this is what you've achieved this weekend. That's it. <laughs> you've done more than me. <laughs> oh, okay. You've done a then, hell of a uh, lot more than then me. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. Oh, love, 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 love. Yeah. So how long do you reckon it's going to take you to get it done? It'll take me about a month and a half. And are you a monogamous stitcher? I, ha I only have three projects on the go at, at any time. I can't, I can't do you that. You can't go more than no, that? No. Well, I lo I'm loving, well, I'm loving your company. You are, oh, thank you for you are making me. us laugh, that's for sure. <laughs> I um, love it. Love the stitching. Thank you. I hope you're having a wonderful time I'm, here I'm with having us in the, the best time. I'm having the best time. I really want to thank you guys for, for having me, and uh, I love you. Well, I, I want you to come back. I will. I want you to come back, and then we can see this, this pretty... I want company. you to come to my house. Well, I, I'll work on that. Don't you worry. You keep up I with everybody that. to come over. <laughs> She's going to wish she never said that. No. Well, no. thank you so, so All much, right, you're my welcome. lovely. Okay, so tell me, tell me, what am I looking at? So I love stitching things from my home, and I'm in fall mode at the moment, autumn mode, and I, this is Stitches Through the Years, Happy Harvest. That is lovely. And then this is where you've got to, would you look at that? Look at those colours. Look at that gorgeous stitching. So when did you start this one? Um, about four weeks ago. About four weeks ago. Yeah, I haven't had much of a chance to keep, keep up with it at the moment, but I'm hoping to get it finished. Well, I'm so sure we, we, we all know that feeling. Yeah. So, well, you've not done too bad, because you started at the house. Yes, we're, exactly. We're, yeah, so and then it's not too much. You've, yeah, you've not, and you've got some nice bit of block stitching yeah. to go there as well. I love, love, love. And that fabric, what fabric are we stitching that on? That is a 32 count even weave. I think it is vintage country mode. That is lovely. So, and how long do you think it's going to take you to get it done? I hope another three weeks. Yeah? Yeah, I hope so. I hope we'll get some more time now the children have gone back to school. So. That's always nice. Yeah. That is always <laughs> nice. Well, look, thank you so, so much for sharing. Thank you. Okay, so tell me, tell me, what am I looking at? Summer Quaker by Leela Studio. Oh, would you look at that? I've not seen this one. What does that say in the middle? Uh, Live in sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. That is lovely. So, and this is where you've got to. Wow, look at that. Look at those colours. Look at that colour fabric, actually. That's a very, very bright yellow. Nice one. That is sunny. Very sunny. So, 
tell me, tell me, how long have you been working on this one? Um, three, three months because I'm doing a page a month. Oh, so you're like, have you got yourself a little challenge going on? Yeah, now? I'm doing the spring one as well. Oh, so each month I'm doing one page of each. So you do a page of spring and a page of summer. Yeah. Summer. Yeah. Wow. And what fabric count is that? 16, I think. So it's a 16 count. I take yeah. it, what, what's the fabric from? I don't know. Is it one of Megan's fabrics? Or is it I just can't a... be sure that it is. It might be, but... Um, so when not. do you anticipate having it done by? So it'll be nine more months, ten months. Just, ten months? Yeah. So, so are, you, are you coming to... June. Are June. you coming to another retreat anytime soon? Or next year? Um, not that far away, no. No? <laughs> we might need to get you back just yeah. so we can see it and it's Maybe glory. next September then. Yeah, it needs to come on the finishing table yeah. along with, with, with the other Spring. one. Yeah, so you can have the two together. That yeah. is lovely. Let me get up close and personal with your stitching. And you're stitching that two over... Two over one. Two over one. Love, love, love. Oh, look at that little... That is so yeah. cute, gorgeous. It's going to be all them houses. It's going to say, look, there's the picture. Look at that. That is beautiful. Well, look, thank you so, so much for sharing. Okay. So, sweetheart, tell me, tell me, what, what, what are we looking at? This is a garden temperature chart by... It's one of those, it's going around Coco the room. Coco Creates. Coco Creates, going around the room, and you pick your own colour, whatever you feel like, and mark it off in the chart so everybody in the room does what it is. Oh, so is this going around the room here? Yes. And it's a temperature wonder with me? Yeah, it's... it's. Oh, you can't show me that. Sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, so you just... You just pick up. So, so which one are you doing? I'm doing this mid one. You're doing the little green one. Yeah. Because oh, there's such a, a lot of greens idea. around. Look at that. That's lovely. So you picked your own colour. You pick yeah. your own colour yeah. and you just and you just stitch it. Yeah, just a little paw print. That's very nice. That's a little a little bit of love on people's. Well, yeah. I can't talk because I've got Mary stitching one of my trees currently on my evening in the park because oh, right. I'm trying to get rid of as many trees as humanly possible. Um, and then she turned around and she went, well, can't I stitch a lantern? And I'm like, no, no, because I'm fine with the lanterns, but the trees need to be stitched. Yeah. So I, I get the fact that it's nice to have somebody else's touch on your on your stitching. Yeah. And that is gorgeous. Yeah. And then that's your stitching, yeah. isn't it? This We've is seen nearly this before. finished. Nearly. There's a little part just here. One of these here, and it's finished. Is that what you're going to get done tonight? Yes, and not tonight or tomorrow, but it will be finished What do you mean it's not going to be tonight or tomorrow? Because I'm not that fast. Yeah. What, not even if I challenged you on no, it? No, not even if I challenged you. <laughs> it's well, wonderful I look forward, to stitch. I look um, forward to seeing that at the next retreat then. You will, I promise. When it's finished, on the finishing table. Yes, you will. Wonderful. Thank you so, Along so much for sharing. Along with me, Lane, that's in that case still. Well, we've got all these things that we need to get finished for the next retreat. I'm oh, not it's holding finished. you to... It's finished. I Why just, is it not on the finishing table? Because I just don't put it there. Yet. Oh, my life. See, people, we're far too busy stitching and not organising. Thank you so, so much Sorry. for sharing. I'm here with the lovely Isabel. My love, tell me, what are we looking at? We're looking at, at Le Triplé. It's a French what's it is? kit. Say it again. Le Triplé. Le Triplé. Le. Le. Tri. Play. 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 Yeah, okay. Wait, it's that. That's what it is. Can't say. It is. I'm not very good at French. Yeah, it's a French kit that I bought long, long, long time ago. So, my daughters were not born yet. Right. And my oldest is 22. So, this is like 23 years. 24 years. 24 right. years yes, in the yeah. making. Yes. Would you like to show us where you've got to then, what's took 24 years? I'm on the last bit. I'm doing this little part there. I'm nearly done. Oh, my God, look. I'm nearly done. 24 years in the making. In the making, yes. How gorgeous is that? I bet you're like, I can't wait to get it done. I can't wait to finish it because I've been on it since yesterday and I want to finish it. So when do you reckon you're going to have it done? Is it going to be done by the end today, of this retreat? Definitely, be definitely, definitely today. Definitely today. 
Uh -huh. So is this going to go on the finishing table? Yes, he will. So if I record the finishing table tomorrow morning rather you than doing it, it tonight. Yeah, you should see it. Right, people, you heard that. Uh, excuse me, madame. Excuse me, what's that? Madame, madame. Madame, madame. Madame, madame. I kept my promise last time. You did. There is, there is a Roses of Provence. Yes. Sitting on the finishing table because you completed it in time. In time. I finished it the day before. Literally, the yeah. day before. <laughs> the okay. night before. Don't worry. That will be, I will be, I will be showing that with, with the lovely people. Because, <laughs> yeah, go. I've been watching that in progress, haven't in I? In progress, yeah. She's A been sending me Instagram updates on it so yeah. that I was, I was briefed at all, at all points. All points, all the So time. I look forward to seeing this one all spread yeah. out on the finishing table oh, also yes. tomorrow morning. Yes, you will. Good. And then and so two finishes in what? Two finishes in one week, Lily. Yeah, in three days. Yeah. So, I was going to say a little smug moment there, darling. Thank you so so much for sharing, You're honey. Okay, so tell me, tell me. This is long dog sampler, the tap dancer. See, now I know yeah. that. Yeah, I know. I'm doing this one. I know. Although, yeah. although I say I'm doing this one, mine, mine has been seriously neglected. Yeah, like, mine too. Yeah? Started this yesterday since mm. December, I think. So December was the last time you worked mm -hmm. on it, and yeah. then you picked it up yesterday? Yeah. Yep. So show me, where have you got to? I don't know, you're further along than me. You're a lot further along yeah, than me. Yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to work out where's the... So hold up, so show, show me on... Let's have a look. Yeah. I can. Oh yeah, you are you are a lot further on than me. I'm, I'm still over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I've just like got to the bottom of his feet. But that is gorgeous. So what color thread are you stitching? This is DMC 3808. 3808. Yeah. And what fabric is this that you're stitching uh, on? x Designs. Yep. Old linen. Old linen. Yeah. What's, what count is that? 36. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not that brave. Mm -hmm. I didn't go with the 36 count, but that is gorgeous. Look at that. So the, I'm not even going to ask you how long it's going to take to get it finished because... Ooh, I'm now at 40%. So. Nearly halfway. Over a year? Yeah. Yeah, I think. I'll see you next year with it then, yeah? Maybe. On the finishing table? Maybe. 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 If not... I'm not promising anything. <laughs> if, if not, it can be close. Maybe. Close. Yeah. Closer yeah. than... Closer than 60%, how's that? Absolutely. I like that I idea. Like, yeah, Thank you absolutely. so, so much for sharing. Okay. okay, so tell me, tell me. Uh, this is Amphitrite, uh, Bella Filipina. That is gorgeous. And where have you got to? Well, <gasps> I've got quite a lot of her done. I'm just going back and filling in up that section there, so just here. So have you done all the bottom of her? Not all of it. So which bits? I've gone along there, I've done her tail. Yeah. I've done half the dolphin, um, so I've got to go up here and then all around the top and back to the dolphin oh before my she's finished. God. Would you look at that? Look at the detail. So the skin you're doing two over one, ten, ten. ten. Yeah, easy. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't go back to doing one over one. No, across. no. I think most people yeah. that I found have found the same thing. Yeah. That is absolutely yeah. spectacular. Uh, so how long has this now been in the making for? Only since March. Really? Yeah. So do you, are you just like a, a one project person? No, or not normally, but I just keep coming back to this one. I can't seem to put it down. Has it been screaming at you? Yeah, yeah. I can understand yeah. why, because it is just too gorgeous. Would you look at that beautiful stitching? So, what's your prediction? How long do you think it's going to take to get her done? I'd like it done by Christmas. I don't know if that's a bit ambitious, um, but I don't have a huge amount left, relatively, to the whole piece. So, so are you booked into any more retreats with us? Not yet, no. Yeah. Not yet. But the next time you come, am I going to see this on the finishing table? I think so. I think yeah. you will. Yeah. Especially if you carry on like this. If yeah. this is where you've got to already, I, I, I think you're going to have this like all buttoned up before you know it. Well, yeah. look, thank you so, so thank much you. for sharing. She is absolutely stunning. Okay, so tell me, tell me, what are we looking at? Uh, this is Moon and Back by Heart in Hand. I've never seen this one, I'll be honest with you. So it's a bird sampler. Is it a bird sampler? Yeah, but I haven't decided if I'm going to do it as a bird sampler. Um, Look at that. Yeah. And 
and this is this look at your program would you look at that so how gorgeous started today new star oh, new star yeah. and what fabric is that we're stitching that one 32 count Belfast linen. Oh, nice. So how long do you think it's going to take? You've done quite a bit it's already, haven't along. you? It's coming along. It's coming along quite well. I'm coming in November, so maybe by then. Am I going to sit on the finishing table? That, we'll aim for that. I like that idea. I like that idea. Well, uh, you know, I don't want to hold you up because you're, you're, you're like a Trojan stitcher. Because, well, anyone's a Trojan stitcher in comparison to the amount I've stitched since I've been here. But thank you so, so much for sharing. I look forward to seeing it um, at the next retreat then. Okay, we know who this lovely lady is. This is uh, Greta Goldbrum, uh, lovely Bella Bella Filipina. So, tell me, tell me, your, your gorgeousness here. I'm, I'm just getting a little... Don't get too close. What do you mean, don't get too close? That's gorgeous. Would you look at that stitching? And look how much you've got done. She looks fabulous. So, tell me, tell me, what are we stitching her on? 32 counts even weave from Megan, so she doesn't name them. So, a non-named 32 yeah. count even weave. Kind of bluey grey. It is a lovely, lovely colour. Because yeah. I can't, it's like in some light, so in the camera, it almost looks like it's a bluey grey. But in person, that looks like a greeny grey. Greeny grey. Greeny grey. That's really, really lovely. A nice sort of sky bluey almost. Yeah, it's, I think it's definitely got the right feel and it's got enough splodges on it that I think it sort of fits the fits the design very, very well. So, how long have you been working on her? Four weeks. Is that all? Really? Four weeks? Yeah. I don't really need to do much else. No, she needs two arms and her little sash. Oh, yeah, I've just realised she's got no arms. <laughs> I'm going, oh, yeah, look, she looks lovely. All I can see is boobs. <laughs> boobs and bustles. There's boobs and bustles, but there's no arms. I didn't realise it didn't have any arms. Oh, my. Okay. Right. Sorry. <laughs> so... This is four weeks worth of progress, so I'm assuming that you haven't got lots and lots of other projects that you work no, on. Do no. you do like one at a time? Almost, yeah. So, what's the prediction? When's she going to be done? Probably the end of the month. Do you reckon? If not sooner. Where are we now? What date? What's the date today? It's the 16th of 16th of September. Yeah, it'd definitely be done by the end of the month. Yeah, come on, you've just got a bit of more, a bit more the, bustle um, to do and a couple of arms. At the Nuban in October, so I'll show you, you at them. <gasps> are you? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I'll see I've this on the finishing table in November. I've got Winter White Santa to show you as well, which I started at Mirabilia, and that's finished. Is it done? Yeah. Oh, my God. Right, well, I look forward to Nuban. It's Noban. not fun, but it's done. We are going Nuban, people, in October, so we will be catching up with this lovely lady, and we'll be seeing this as a finish and we'll be seeing your winter white Santa then. Thank you so, so much for sharing. So tell me, sweetheart, what are we looking at? So this is Dressmaker's Daughter by Marabelia. That is gorgeous. I've got this chart. Have you? I have. Have you stitched it? Not yet. I want to. Mm. So oh, I do love it. I love, I love, I love the concept that it's. You know, I think it would look great in my dressing room. Mm -hmm. But then I was sitting there thinking, but there's all that background to stitch. That sort of I was thinking, I'm not quite sure how much was involved in that. So yeah. let's have a little look at what you. Well, I've what you got to? <laughs> not very much. Can we turn your little light off because it's causing a bit of glare? Okay, so. We have a line. A line of on half a, stitches. Of so half far. stitches on this very beautiful fabric. Yes, I bought this today. How so gorgeous is it's that? It's lovely, isn't it? So, and what count is that? 32. It's a 32, it's an opalescent. Mm -hmm. And this is a restart, right? It is a restart. So, why are we restarting? I was stitching it on the cold for fabric. Which and, is? Which is the. Chocolate linen, yep. Yeah, which I think. Yep. Oh right, yep. Just, it didn't mistake. like it. Yay. I didn't like it. It's what you didn't yes. like it? Oh, I everything's lined up. I'm loving my life. Oh, it's um. It's so. Let's have a little it's look. so stiff and just. Yeah. It was slipping out of my frames and just didn't like it. No. No. So I've I've binned it off. I'm doing a restart. 
on the lovely fabric. Do you know what? Today. I think I think sometimes, you know, when you start sitting there going, oh, you know, oh, I don't really want to have to do a restart. But mm. I think sometimes it's worth it's worth taking the hit of loss of time mm. and effort to get it right so yeah. that you really do love it especially when you're going to stitch on it for as long as you are but yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of like, like you say this is I'm assuming this is the background of, of this yes. of this one here yes so there, there is a lot more sort of filling in stitches it mm. needs to be right doesn't it yeah so absolutely it's like not like you've done too much. You didn't. You didn't no. sort of spend too much time on it, and then realise you wasn't. Yeah, no. So. I, I, I was sort of a, kept going into time out because I wasn't liking it, and I thought, right, I've got to do something about this. This is ridiculous. So yeah. I went and picked. I had a lovely chat with Megan today, and we decided on this one. I love that fabric. And we think we're probably. I'm probably going to have to back stitch to make sure it stands out a little bit more. But we'll see how it goes. The more I, I fill in, say. it might might yeah. be okay. I was going to say you might notice that actually once you've got a bit more block in there, yeah. you won't need to do that. Well, I look forward to seeing it progress, my lovely. Thank you. And fingers crossed. This is the right fabric this time. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Thank you. So, tell me, tell me, what are we looking at? We're looking at Winter Geisha by Joan Elliott. How lovely is that? Beautiful, isn't it? It is. Now, I'm, I have never stitched a Joan Elliott. There's my first one as well. Impressions so far? Oh, the chart is brilliant. It's, yeah, and the, the colours just flow. So the stitching really flows. It's really enjoyable to do because you're just following the folds through the fabric. Right, okay. Yeah. So show me where you've got to. Yeah, I've got to. I have got to there. Oh, how gorgeous yeah. is that? So no back stitching yet, sadly. No. So are you going to do the back stitching? As you go, I will do. Yes, I just need to get sort of enough in place that I can follow it down. <gasps> so. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous, and that fabric is spectacular. It's isn't fabulous, it? isn't it? It's so, a sparklies. It's a sparklies yeah. fabric. It's called Dusk. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it's the 30, 32 count linen. 32 count linen. Yeah. That is absolutely lovely. So, how long have you been working on this? Oh, three years. <laughs> I, I started it um, in the summer of the pandemic. Um, and I keep putting her away and doing other stuff and then getting her back out again. So, so you, you've got more than one project on the go? Yeah. So I'm not going to ask you how long it's going to take to get her finished because if it's, if it's been three years in the making, yeah. I, I, I appreciate how long it could possibly take you. So. Probably another three years. Yeah, well, there's a, it's all about process stitching, right? It's all about the enjoyment of it. Well, look, thank Absolutely. you so, so much for sharing. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing where you've got to next time. Lovely. Thank you ever so much. Okay, thanks, please. Okay, so tell me, tell me, what are we looking at? So we're looking at the pirate from the snowman collection of cottage garden samplings. That um, is lovely. It's almost finished. I only have a little bit left here. Oh my! And it's all look done. At that. Yeah, I started it last week. Last week? Yeah. So this has took you like a week to stitch. Yes. Oh my! Would you look at that? So what fabric count is this we're working it's on? It's a 32 count, it's why I got, but I, I dyed it, it's, it's not the best. But I, the original is on sort of brown and I thought, well, it's on the water, so it's a bit silly to have it on brown. Yeah, Which yeah. Which is why, but the white is not very visible at the moment, but there you go. Well, I think it looks lovely. Do you reckon? I do, I do. I just love the idea. To have a snowman as pirate. I love this series. Yeah, it's, it's so whimsical. So it's, it is lovely. It is lovely. Yeah. So do you, where, how long do you think it's going to take you to get... Today. Is, you're going to be done today. Yeah, is it yeah. going to go on the finishing table? Yeah. Because I'm going to do the finishing table tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow so am I'm I going. Oh, yeah, morning, but, yeah, but you still, it's, still, it's going to be on the finishing table tomorrow morning, no? Or are you leaving first leaving thing? leaving early, yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I tell you what, if you get it finished while I'm in the room later, we'll have to do a little quick finishing clip then. Okay. All right then. Well, thank you so, so thank much you. for sharing. Bye. Cheers. Okay, so tell me, what am I looking at? Cinderella Mirabilia. Cinderella Mirabilia. That is gorgeous. And this is where you've got, would you look at that? Yeah, How beating. spectacular is that? <laughs> Look at your beautiful stitching. That is lovely. Oh, and you've been doing some of the beading as you go as well. That is lovely. So how long have you been working on this one for? 
roughly? It's a few years at least. Like is, three, it a few, is it a few three, years? Four, yeah, like three, four years at least. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with... Look, trust me, I've got yeah. projects that are so old. Almost, not, come, not as old as me, but... She's come to every retreat, though. That's when I mostly work on her. So she's like a retreat piece. Yeah, pretty much. So and what, what fabric type is this? This is... Oh, I've got it somewhere. I think it's called Midnight... Who's it by? Do you know? Is it a sparklies? It looks um, like a sparklies fabric. I have it in here. That's it, so I remember. Crafty kitten, midnight sapphire. It's a crafty kitten fabric in midnight sapphires. That is lovely. I'm not going to ask you how long it's going to take you to get it finished, though, right? <laughs> is it? Are we, are we just going to, like, keep rolling with it? So every time I see yeah. you at the retreat, you, we're just going to keep looking at it and decide... Every retreat should be part of it. Yeah, and then we, you know, eventually uh, there's going to be one retreat where you're going to go to meet Teresa. <laughs> it's finished! <laughs> and it's on yeah. the finishing table. <laughs> well, she is absolutely gorgeous, and I think you, you're making fabulous progress on that. So thank you so, so much for sharing. Okay, so come on, tell me, tell me, what are we looking at? Blendon Place Sleepy Hollow, is it called? Yeah, it is a Sleepy Hollow, look at that. Look at that. So very festive for, com for the coming time of year. And where have you got to? Ta-da! Ta-da! I'm loving the little pumpkin, babe. I know, it's cute. Oh, and what is that one? What's that one up there? That's Wednesday. That's Wednesday, not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> love, love, love. Look at you. That, that is... It's got a bit of sparkle. Mm. So, question. That green, mm -hmm. is it just green? That is just green, it is. isn't it? It's, it's not like three different now, the moon. Is it the moon on this that's mm -hmm. got glow in the dark? It has, yeah. What about anywhere else? Is that, is, what about the skull? Is that glow in the dark or is it just the moon no, that's glowing? No, it's just white. That's just, just white? Yeah. Yeah. And the moon's glow in the dark. Oh, lovely, lovely. And what fabric are we stitching this on? Maelstrom. Is it Maelstrom? I don't know. Yeah, Maelstrom. <laughs> now, unfortunately, when I'm looking at that through the camera, it makes it look like it's really blue. Oh, it does, doesn't it? But when we look at that in real life, that's like a greeny blue. Yeah. It's more green than it is blue, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. But oh, that's strange. It is. There you go. That's the trick of light, people. It's the trick of light. But look, I am very, very impressed. How long has it took you to stitch this? Oh, I started at the beginning of August. Yeah. Well, it's not likely to be done by November, is it? <laughs> no. Maybe March. When's the next retreat you come to? March. So am I going to see it in March? Well, you'll see it. <laughs> and we can, we can see where you've got to. Well, thank you so, so much for sharing. Thank you. Cheers, honey. Okay, tell me, tell me, what am I looking at? Because I, I love this. This is gorgeous. It's a, hey, it's a mini window with a view by Dominic Davis. Do you know what? I have never seen this chart, but now that I have, you might have enabled me a little bit because that is... I could only manage the mini one, though. I couldn't, couldn't do a big one. I've oh, I was going to say, it. how big is the mini? Uh, is it very big? What is it? So it's 13 inches by 13 eight. by 8. Well, it's still not small, is it? No, no, it's definitely not small. No, it's definitely not small. Definitely not small, but I, I need to get you in. Look, look at that. How pretty is that? That might have to drop into my wish box, actually. I'm sorry. It's just too nice. Right, OK, so t show me where you've got to. I'm kind of regretting part of it because I didn't realise how much pink I um, would have to do to start. I should have started somewhere else. And you're not enjoying the pink? No, but once I get past the pink, that's why I kind of went this way. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was doing diagonals and I was like, this is too much pink. <laughs> I'm just going to go so I, would, I would get on so well. Maybe I should just do your pink yeah. bits and then I'll give you mine to do my other bits. And then yeah, between the pair of us, we get two locks out exactly. of this, right? <laughs> Although the way I stitch, your pink might take a long time. <laughs> but that is gorgeous. So tell me, what size fabric are we doing this on? Uh, this one's 25 count. Is it 25 mm -hmm. count? And what, what type of stitching? Is it one over one full cross? Yeah, it is, yeah, full cross. And one how long one. has this been in the making? This is about a year's worth. A year's worth of work. Mm -hmm. Dare I ask how long you think it's going to take you? 
I maybe finish it when I'm like 90 or something. <laughs> I don't pick it up very often. <laughs> By the time you're 90, you'll be like, oh, we don't have window sills no. that look like that. It'll be like psychedelic world outside our yes. windows. But that is gorgeous. Well, look, it takes as long as it takes, right? And it's all about the enjoying of the stitching. It depends if I can face the second pink card. <laughs> you might have to share it with me. Yeah. Between the pair of us, I'm sure we could work it out, especially when we're 90 years old. Yeah. So, but that is absolutely lovely. Well, look, no doubt I will see this again mm-hmm. at some point. Um, and then we can, we can gauge how well you've done yes. with your pink curtains, all right? I'll have to get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I'm holding you accountable. No. Thank you so, so much for sharing. Okay, so tell me, tell me what we're looking at. Uh, it's About Time by Ciro Marchetti. Oh, it's the same artist as the one I'm working on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on one of his. Yeah. But it's Maximum Colour one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Brave, brave woman, you. <laughs> Would you look at that? That is absolutely gorgeous. So this is where you have got to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a rooster? What is that, a turkey rooster? I what is it? cockerel. Yeah, cockerel. Oh, is that a new, is that a nudie man? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Do you know what? I didn't see that till I looked at it through the camera. There's there's nude men on here. Oh, is that a yeah. man or is that a woman? Is that a woman, isn't it? I haven't looked too close. I can't, I can't, hang on. Let, let, let me zoom back out and we'll go back in again and we'll see mm. what that. I can't tell whether that's maybe a man we, or woman. Maybe it's because it's the maximum colours we can tell. Oh my God! Yeah. Look in my camera. Oh my God! Yeah. yeah. Wow, I'm not quite sure what that is there. But, um, okay, well, uh, do you know what? I've just seen more of this image just by looking through a camera than I did um, looking at it in person. Yeah. Wow. And that's this tent stitch, is So that's yeah. tent stitch. And yeah. what what is it? Two two two, st- two over one. Yeah, it's CXC threads. So it's two over one on yeah. what count? Twenty five count. Twenty five count. Yeah. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. So I'm assuming, are you doing this on like Pattern Keeper? Or? Yes, yeah, Pattern Keeper, yeah. Any idea roughly what your percentage is at now? Uh, just under 50%. Just under yeah. 50%? Yeah, about so, 47%. Wow, like wow. Yeah. Yeah. How long is that? A year how and a half it's took. It's yeah. took a year and a half. So do you reckon yeah. we're looking at another year and a half to get yeah. it done? Or do you reckon? Well, hopefully just a year because I'm going to get cracking with it now. Just do this one. That is absolutely yeah. spectacular. But you've also got another project that's yes, underneath this one yes, that you're working on, haven't you? That's an art essay. Um, it's just a mini steampunk owl by yeah. art essay. And that's on 18 count, so full cross that one. So is this the one that's easier on the eyes when yes. you just want a little bit more of an easy... Yeah, just pop that in the car and you do it whenever. That yeah, is lovely. Easier. Love, love, love. Yeah. And how long have you been working on this one for? Oh, only a few months, about six months. Yeah, yeah. just leave it in car. Yeah. How long do you reckon it's going to take you? Well, I reckon to have got it too before I left here. And I brought another, you know, it's like I should have got it finished by now, but yeah, it, it won't take long, maybe about a month or so. so. Well, yeah, I was going to say. I don't, I'm in no rush because I just leave it in the car, so it's handy just to get out and do a, do bit. a bit. Yeah. yeah. So just as a small one because I can't really cart this one. No, you can't so, exactly cart no. the big one around. I would be so, too frightened to take that one. Yeah. Around. But that so is absolutely nice to gorgeous. have a small one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for. Sharing. So, tell me, tell me, what am I looking at here? Uh, Christmas Elegance um, by Mirabilia. It's a Mirabilia. It is. Old, old, old. old, old, old. It's the old one. Yeah. She is absolutely. Oh, you know, I've got to be honest, I've never seen this one. Now, is this still in print or out of print? I think so. I bought it in the 19th, uh, the 20th century. Oh, God, look at that. Look at that. So, let me have a little look at where you have got to. Oh, she is spectacular. She is gorgeous. So, tell me, how long have you been working on her? Over 25 years. So, this is 25 years in the making? Yes. Quite a few years in lay-by. Oh, yeah, well, we will know about that. Trust me. But she's getting very close, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. That's got to be dogged out. It's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with that. Right. Um, yeah. So what's left to be done? Uh, beading in here. Yeah. And spots of beading there. Snow. 
um, her face and that bit of hair. So oh, in the gloves. It's almost there, really. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, it is now. So, and what fabric count is this we're working I on? I think it's 32 count. Yeah. And you're doing this two over two, two. is that yes. right? Yes. She is absolutely lovely. So, how long do you reckon it's going to take to get I don't know now? because I, I've, I've got two cats at home, so beating's a bit of a problem. Ah, yeah, I, und- <laughs> I understand how that works. I've got two dogs, admittedly, they don't try and chase my beads, but it still is problematic. Yeah. So, but she is absolutely gorgeous. Well, I'm I can't wait to see her finished. I'm hoping that you're going to come again. And I'm when down on the waiting list for March, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So we'll see how further along you've got by yes. March. Yeah, we? she'll be, if I'm here in March, she'll be coming because I can work on her here. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Well, look, thank you so, so much okay. for sharing. So tell me, tell me, what am I looking at? Halloween cake by Lila Studio. Wonderful. I've got this one. <laughs> but trust me, you have done a hell of a lot more stitching than I've done. So it's taken gonna... me about two years to get that. <laughs> so this is two years in the making. You're making me feel better about mine now. <laughs> if you look, honestly, if you look to see where mine was sort of this time last year, you've done quite a lot though. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Yeah. I also make the mistake of thinking it'll be a lot quicker than it is, but yeah. like, I've only done this bit so far. Well, I, th- I think we were, we were all guilty of that. It's like we look at him, it's like, yeah, that won't take very long, and then actually it's like years later. Um, so tell me, what fabric is this that we're stitching this um, on? I can't remember what it's called, but it's a chromatic alchemy. It's 18 count. Lovely. And um, what are you, are you doing? Two. I'm doing one strand. One strand, full cross. Yeah. Lovely. So how long do you reckon it's going to take you to get it finished? If you've got this far so far. Well, I'm going to try and actually crack on with this one. So. <laughs> what, Say another year. Another year. And are you coming to any more retreats? Are you booked on any? No, I probably would only do the September one, so when you open that up, so, maybe. So, um, so we might see you at next September then, yes. and then we can gauge how far you got. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, look, thank you so, so much for sharing. <laughs> so come on then, tell me, what am I looking at? This is Cloud's Factory, Epic Princesses which is a series of about 15 Disney films, and this is Brave. Brave? Brave the film, the Disney film called oh. Brave. I'm assuming you've seen this film. Oh, yeah. Love Are you Disney. into Disney? Love You're Disney. Disney, Disney yeah. chicken. Now, I'm, I'm detecting some sparkles here. This is, uh, and I think it's Sparkly's Fabric. Is it? Yeah, I think so. It's definitely 16 count. And I'm doing each film on a different colour. This is about number five that I've done. And then I'm going to turn them all into pillows. That is gorgeous. So I've got a lot of fabric from Megan and some from Sparklies. And I'm assuming you've gone all all sparkly fabrics, though. Some of it or some of it just bright purple. Disney colours. Disney, you've just gone Disney colours. Love it. Yes. Let me get... So, okay, so do you know the names of these? No. No? Oh, just the one. Merida. Merida. What's this one with the the wiggly wiggly hair? Lord, Lord something. No, I don't know. Sorry. Love it. And the man with the sword? No, I don't know. He's got. Is he got a peg leg? Yeah. Oh, it's a pirate type thing. Well, I think they're all dressed as if they're a bit medieval sort they of. They are very medieval. Very medieval. medieval. So, how long have you been working on this oh, one? Oh, this one less than a month, but I started the whole set about eighteen months ago. Yeah. Uh, and this is number five I've done, so with other things. So it's five well. out of how many? I think about 14 or 15, but oh, as fast as I finish one, then. they bring out another one. Well, of course they do. It's going to keep you busy new forever, film. darling. Yeah. Well, look, thank you so, so You're much welcome. for You're welcome. Thank you. I look forward to seeing thank you. the rest of them. Well, maybe. They're coming. Each retreat is a different one every retreat. Okay. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. <laughs> My lovelies, and look who I have with me. It is who is it? Zoe from Coco Creates. If you haven't gone and checked out our Floss Tube channel, then I will put her details below. And we are here at the Essex Needles Retreat. And of course, she's got lots of goodness as always, haven't you, my lovely? Of course. Are yeah. you having fun? Of course. Of course. Of Brilliant. course. Yeah. And lots of stitching happening. Um, uh, some, some stitching. More than me. Probably. Most likely. <laughs> Shall we swing the camera around and have a little look? Yes. Okay, 
say, tell me, what am I looking at, my uh, lovely? So this is Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers that came out at the start of the pandemic. Yep. Um, so, yeah, and I started it about at the start of the pandemic. And uh, this is how much I've got. So I've just got this new corner that I've done. So have you started in the bottom left hand corner? I did because I didn't realise that it had the year in and then was like, maybe I shouldn't, you know, maybe I shouldn't. Oh. Do the years. That's why there's a little, if you see on my pattern, there's a little hole where the rest of the year's going to go. Because I thought maybe I should put the year in when I actually finish it. Well, there is one definite thing. It's going to have to be in the 20 something. So yeah. Because yeah. you put 20. Yeah. So, so yeah, I thought 10, 10 years, you know, I thought I can do it in 10 years. So, so this is three years' progress. And what fabric is it that you're using for this? Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It's a, design, a fabric dye that she doesn't dye fabric anymore. Oh, no. Um, it's a beautiful fabric. It, it is very, very pretty. Um, so, and what so colour thread is 40 counts fabric. It's and 40 counts. Yeah, so I'm doing it over two. Right. And this is a silks for you, Hank, just in their plain undyed. Nice. And that is very soft. Like no, it's like a natural, isn't yeah. it? It's not white, but it's no, not creamy, though. It's, yeah. it's like a really nice colour. But that yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, so. Love, love, love. And my needles so, out the way. How long do you think it's going to take you to get it done? Well, if I, if I actually stitch it, <laughs> it shouldn't yeah. take too long. <laughs> I but, know that um, all the time. But, but yeah, I mean, I'd like to have it done, um, sort of say, by 25. So yeah, I think that's my goal, yeah. Right, well, don't forget, you come to the Essex Needle Retreats. So I, yeah. will, I will be you'll watching. Be, you'll be watching, yes. We will see. We will see where you got to. Not, no, that, so not that I'm holding you accountable. I don't yeah, so I've said it now, so... I was going to say, you said that, not me. Well, thank yeah. you so, so much for sharing, my lovely. Okay, so, Sophie, tell me, what, what are we looking at? Let me let me get it out of the glare, because there's a bit of glare going on here. What am I looking at? Uh, I've got a final thingy card. And uh, I got earlier. Aqua Marina. Aqua Marina. She is a mermaid. She is lovely. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And where have you got to? Let's have a little look. Oh, wow. So, tell me. You normally stitch on Ada? Yes. Your first experience of even... Is this an even weave or is it linen? Even weave. Even weave. So, what, what count even weave have we gone with? 16. 30. 16. 32 count. 32 count. So, you're stitching it 16. 16. Yeah. Lovely. And it's got sparkles on it as well. Let me just catch the sparkles. Look at that. That is absolutely lovely. Now, how are you getting on with stitching on your even weave for the first time? Good. Did it take a little while to get your head around it, or was it actually easy? Once easy. You, it was easy? Yeah. And are the sparkles bothering your eyes? No. You've got quite young eyes, haven't you? Because they're, they're, they're going to cope quite well with the sparkles, <laughs> unlike us older people. But that is gorgeous. So, how long have you been working on this one? This morning. So, this is like just today? Yeah. You've done quite well for today, haven't you? Yeah. You've got a lot more done than I've done in the whole weekend. That, that's rather... Well, that's that impressive. I don't get that much done at any retreats, but that is absolutely lovely. So, how long do you reckon it's going to take you to get this done? A very, very long time. Do you normally stitch a lot when you're at home? No. So, is it only when you come to the retreats? Yes. I got a 14 month old. You've got a what? A four, uh, 15 month old. Oh, you've got your hands yes. full is what you've got. So, yeah, so I suppose you're coming here just for some sanity, peace and quiet. and Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing exceptionally well. I like that. So I'm assuming that when we next see you, we're going to see more progress on this. Hopefully. I like to think so. All right. Well, I'm not going to hold you accountable, but I will expect to see it next time I see you. All right? And thank you so, so much for sharing. Okay. So tell me, tell me what am I looking at? So we are looking at my first hide. Your first hide? My first hide, Look at which you. is uh, Queen of Hearts. And I started it this morning. So wow. this is started this morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Look where you've got to. Oh, yeah. So how many stitches have you mastered for today? So this is 1,122. Wow. You've done know. well. I have. And what count fabric are we doing this on? Uh, 32 count. Yep. 
tent, tent stitch. Uh, two over one. Two over one tent stitch. Yeah. How are you finding it? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Enjoying it? I am, yes. It's a bit boring at the minute. It's all black. Almost. It will, it, 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 yeah. It'll come to life. I was going to say. But the fact that you've got just block stitching to start with, I don't think you've done too bad at all. No. But well done you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing this progress. Grow. The, yeah, grow, grow. Over, over the next few retreats. And then and then we can talk more about sort of, you know, when, when, when your finishing line is. Mm, yes. <laughs> I like the way you say, mm, yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you so, so much for sharing. Okay, so tell me, tell me, what am I looking at? Uh, oh. The Witcher, yeah. He's hot, isn't he? <laughs> um, who is this charted by? Um, oh, I can't remember. It's uh, someone on Etsy. Right, okay. Look at that. So, and it's full coverage? Yeah. Let's have a little look at your stitching. Oh my god. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, it does look better on camera. Actually. It does look, it looks lovely on camera, don't you think? Yeah. So, tell me, tell me, how long have you been working on it? Um, I started at the beginning of the year. <coughs> when? So, like, prior to the year, like January. January? Yeah. You've done a lot for January. <laughs> and, I mean, well, I'm just trying to look to see how much you've got left to do. There's not really that much, is there? What to do, like, this side under here? I'm, like, six, I think I'm in the 60s. 60 percent? Yeah. That is lovely. So, are you doing... Do you just sort of pick a place or are you doing it like colour by colour? How do you do yours? Yeah, mostly colour by colour, but I was working from the top down, like, say like this one, and then yeah. I'll, I'll then do that wherever it is. And then you'll work all the way through the design and yeah. fill it in by the way down and then to if the I, bottom. If I get bored of it though, I'll just swap it to another colour. So no, no like strict rules with it, just, just wing it how you like it? Yeah. I love that, I love that. So when do you reckon you're going to have it done by? Hopefully by the end of the year. Absolutely love it. Gorgeous stitches. So, and you're doing it, what are you doing? One over one? Yeah. On what fabric count? I think it's count? 25 count. 25 count, one over one. That is gorgeous. Absolutely spectacular. Well, I would love to see it when it's finished. Are you, are you planning to come back to another retreat? Yeah, I haven't like, booked in yet, but I will come again. And if you do, and you've got this done, is it going to go on our finishing table so we can have a little bit close up and personal with it when it's all completed? Yeah. yeah. I still need to see Mr. Hottie on the, uh, on the finishing table. Yeah. Thank you so, so much for sharing. Okay, so we've got newbie stitcher, right? Yeah. So how newbie are we? Very new. Um, Anna. Probably started this one at the beginning of the year. Yeah. So, but it's printed. So. There is absolutely yeah, yeah. nothing wrong with that. So this is your beginning of the year one. You've done the pumpkin and you've done that. And then what have you been up to here? Just done the Noah's Ark. Look at you, look at your stitching. How cool is that? Do you know what? If I was to take a look at my beginner stitching versus your beginner stitching, mine was shocking. It was, the, it was the most untidiest stitching in the world. That is a very, very neat stitching. Thank you. So I am very, very impressed with your stitching so far. So when did you start this one? Um, last night, I think, yeah. yeah. Last night? Yeah, yeah, was good. yeah. You're not doing bad. And there's a bit of back stitching there yeah, as well, exactly. isn't yeah. there? Yeah. So that once you've got... Do you reckon you get it done this weekend? Yeah. Yeah? Definitely, yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing it when it's done. But yeah, you're making yeah. fabulous progress. Thank you. Are you having fun at the retreat? Yeah? yeah. You reckon you come back? Yes. Yeah. Do more projects? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to ask you, what is this one here? This one next. Um, so is this like on. Yeah. So is this the one that you're going to. Yeah, oh, hopefully. Yeah. That I'll do this. <laughs> and is it that? So it's, a, it's one of the blushing pink stitches a ones, kit. and yeah. it's a kit. Got, oh look, it's got all the stuff in it as well. <laughs> so you're like ready to rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely, that's what I like to say. Well look, thank you so, so much for sharing and uh, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful retreat. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, gorgeous girly, tell me, what am I looking at? <laughs> this is Another Year Creeps By by Ink Circle. That is lovely. Is it new? Um, well, she released it months by months a few years ago through Stitchy Box. Oh. And then a couple of years ago in Market, she released the whole thing all together. Lovely. Lovely. So, and this is what, classic colour works? Uh, yes, mostly. And then she's got this special thread... That looks like 
there. Oh, look at that. That's very autumnal, isn't it? That look at goes it. in certain bits through all of them. Lovely. So, where have we got to? New start this morning. New start this morning. Wow, you've done a lot. Oh, you? thank you. I've been chatting mostly. Well, <laughs> not, as, not as much as me, apparently. <laughs> so, what fabric are we doing it on? This is 32 count even weave from Sparklies in the colourway Morel. That is lovely. So, so, you've not done bad. So, what are you doing? Are you going to like do each square individually or yeah. are you going to do them like. I'll do each square individually. I'll probably do a square, put it away for a bit, get it out, do another one. So, next time you're here, we'll be able to see how far you've got. Oh, yeah, never know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Well, maybe. Come to your but if I see it next time, then we can have a little look and see how far you've got, can't yeah, we? Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you, my lovely. Thank you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, look at that. How gorgeous is this? Right, tell me, what, what am I looking at? Uh, so this is Oh Dear by Satsuma Street. I love that. Look at that, very crafty. It is. I'm very hoping to finish it by Christmas. Oh, you got a deadline. Okay, let me have a little look at your stitch in there. So I've done a fair bit. How are you getting on with the black fabric? Everyone keeps asking me that, but it's, it's okay, actually. Do you think Good. it's okay? Is that an Ada you're doing? Yeah, it's it is 14 an Ada. count Ada, so that makes it much easier. Do you think Do you think it is what makes it easier because it's an Ada versus an even? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That is gorgeous. And it's like big enough that you can see the holes. Look at that. Look at your stitches. Beautiful. I'm loving it. I love those colours. Yeah, the black makes it pop. It's worth it. <laughs> And when I put the smile on, I feel like it already... Like, oh, yeah, out, once, right? once the smile goes on. So, tell, how long have you been working on this one? So, I started this one in January this year. So, January, and you've got a deadline to have it done by Christmas. Yeah, all sign up. First of December, so I want to put it out with the Christmas tree. So, and are you going to do the finishing? Yeah. So, I've, I think I've got some black felt, and I finished the Sky High Santa that's on the finished table. Oh, we haven't, um, we, I haven't recorded that yet, but so, I will do. Um, I made that for my partner in secret last year. Yeah. And I liked it so much, I was like, I'll make one for myself. I'm making right, it's not for everybody else, you need to do something for you. You can um, personalise your name on the top. Oh my, oh look, oh look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Well, look, I take it you're coming to another retreat at some point. March, yeah, so maybe it'll be on the March. Can you, can you bring it so that we can see it? Yeah, of course. Wonderful, thank you so, so much for sharing. So guess who I have here with me? This is Lindsay from Blushing Pink Stitches, yeah. am I right? Hello. Hello. Are you having fun? Oh, it's been an amazing weekend so far. It's, yeah, it's, really, really good. Yeah. And there's lots of people here this time. We've got like 60 plus people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. And it's lovely to come back and like connect with everyone again and oh yeah it's been been a lovely weekend good 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 and you bought your shop haven't you so shop. we've got her shop here as well so there's there's a bit of purchasing that's been going on definitely and lots and lots of goodies so but you're actually sat here diligently stitching yeah unlike myself who's managed nothing as usual but should we share what you've been stitching that's been that's let's great, spin yeah. you around and have a little look so tell me, tell me, what are we looking at? So this is the um, Mermaids of the Seasons stitch along by Bella Filipina. Do you know what? I've got a bit of FOMO about this. I very nearly fell down a rabbit hole and then I had to convince myself not to. So, yeah. yeah. The first part came out on Thursday and um, people have said to me, you're going to keep up and my straight answer is no. You're not going to keep up? You just, are you just going to do it at your own leisure? I'm going to do it at my own leisure. Yeah. So let's have a little look and see where you've got to. I don't know, you've not done too bad. No, not too bad so, so far. So when did you start this? So I started it um, yesterday afternoon, I think. Yeah, yesterday afternoon. You've done quite a bit, considering you've had to shop open. Yeah. And you're here at a retreat where you get sort of like somewhat waylaid and yeah. Yeah, engaged in conversation. You've not done too badly at yeah. all, have you? It's really enjoyable. It's actually my first Bella Filipina. Um, and I know now that I'm going to be stitching loads more of it, of them. Um, but yeah, it's so enjoyable watching it come to life. And so yeah, are just... you going to do yours on separate 
fabrics? No. I've actually measured this a little bit wrong, so this should be over here a little bit more, but it will fit on here. It will just have a bit less of an edge over here. Right, so, so you've yeah. definitely got enough space on yeah. there to get like two knees to each other. Yes, definitely. And what fabric are you using? This is a, a 28 count even weave that uh, Megan from Coffee Craft Fabrics dyed. Lovely. Yeah. And you're stitching what? Two over two? Over two? two over two. Lovely. Yeah. So, so, I don't although, you, although you're not going to keep up with the sow, how long do you think it will take you? Or are you just going to sort of like roll with it and see how you get on? I'll roll with it, but I mean... <laughs> Each of the mermaids don't appear to be like it doesn't appear to be a lot, a lot of stitching. So I mean, maybe you could get this done in. So what do you think? Like five or six stitching sessions? Like I don't know. I suppose it depends on how much stitching yeah. time you get in yeah. your stitching sessions. But yeah, maybe we'll see. Well, um, you're coming back when? In November. So are you going to bring it with you so we can see where you get to? Yeah, I'll bring it with me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like to see it. Well, look, thank you so so much for sharing. No worries. I'll see you in November. Yes. Okay, my lovely. Tell me, what am I looking at? This is long dog fish and chips. Fish and chips, long No, dog. fish and ships. Fish and ships. Oh, I didn't realise it was fish and chips. No, it's fish and ships. And now I understand why. <laughs> because there's lots of ships. There's lots of ships on it, yeah, too, which tends to give the game away. Just, just, just ever so slightly. So let's have a little look and see where you've got to. Oh, my, would you look at that. That is beautiful, as always. Thank you. Look at that. So... Uh, how are you working out what colours? Or are you just are you randomly picking it, or did you already no, sort of I've, like? Section I've decided it? that the the sort of the, the sea animals and creatures will be in this plain blue. Yep. And then the sort of general motifs like the windmill and the potted plants yep. will be in the variegated. Very nice. And what 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 threads are you using? Oh well, <laughs> that's a tale in itself. Um, the variegated is from Oliver Twists. Oh, and that's oh, a colour wow. called Rust. That's lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? That is lovely. And it was quite cheap for silk thread too. Yeah. And then the other one that I'm using comes on a comb from China. Yep. And is sold as a lace weight knitting yarn. Oh wow! Oh my, look at the sheen on that. And it's it's. Easy enough to handle, you just have to remember to let the thread dangle and get the kinks out of it. Every so, now yeah, and then. you just have so, to sort yeah, of like unwrap yeah. it. But that's no different to any other symbol, no, I don't think. No, but I just thought that the two together went really well. So, my man animals are going to be in plain blue and everything else will be in the rust. That is lovely. So, and what count fabric is this? This is a 32 count uh, dyed by Megan and it's even weave iridescent. That is absolutely lovely. And you're stitching this, what, two over one? No, or one, one over two. One over two? Yeah. Lovely. So how long has it taken you to get this far? I started this on the 20th of August this year. Wow. So it's, to me, it's a celebration piece. It is? Because five years ago on the 20th of August, I had my first mastectomy. Oh my so I was celebrating the fact that I'd got to five years. Oh, my lovely. That is such a lovely piece. So what's the anticipation of finishing time? Well, I'm going to give myself a year. Give yourself a year? So this yeah. time next year, this should be done then, Hopefully. right? Hopefully. Might be quicker. What well, was going to say? I no doubt I will be seeing you this time well, next year. Do you remember you asked me in March when my mermaid was going to be I finished? I did, yeah. And, and I said it would be finished, stitched by September, uh, by September retreat. And there it is hanging on the wall for you. Well, I think you just set your own bar, my lovely. <laughs> you didn't even need me to help you with that. So, would you also like to see my duck? Yes, let's see the duck. So the I haven't ducks. brought my duck. Oh my long look! Look at the duck. The so duck. which duck is it that you're doing? This is T for two. T for two duck. Oh, wow, look at him. Look at the duck. Absolutely gorgeous. And we both started these in... At the same time in March. March. Isn't it? And I'm nowhere near there. I'm, I'm still up here. <laughs> Without a hat. I'm, I'm not doing very well at the moment. No, with my I think you need to spend more time on it. There's plenty of time. I'm, I'm not... I'm not... Have, well... It's not that I don't want to stitch on it. 
So as always remember that when, when I don't get the progress that I would desire, it's, it's not because I don't want to. It's no, just, no, yeah. it's an impossibility. Your life is a lot busier than mine. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the time when it isn't. When I'll you're retired you. and on your own in a house, you can do one household job in the morning and you can sit and stitch for the rest of the day oh, if you want. Oh, do you know what? It sounds like my idea. Heaven. Oh, it's pleasant. I've got a long way to go, though. <laughs> a long way to go. Yeah. But that is absolutely lovely. And I've slightly changed it because the duck himself is supposed to be in the Krynik as well. Yep. But I've decided I'm doing him in satin thread, DMC yep. satin thread, and then doing all the budgets and the rest of the sparkles in petite treasure break. Lovely. So there's going to be lots of bleeding yeah. going on. Yeah. Doing fabulously. I cannot believe how much you've got done. <laughs> I really do need to get a wiggle on. I you keep do. T- I keep telling myself that October, like mid-October, everything's going to calm down in my life. And then, of course, Christmas will be coming. But yep. you know when it's like there is light at the end of the tunnel. So well, I'm rather hoping yeah. that the, the whole full coverages and the bigger projects will get to come out and play. Yeah, of course. Well, Teresa made me do this. Well, Teresa did make me do this. <laughs> but look, Teresa may have made you do it, but you're the one that did it. And you've done a fabulous <laughs> job so far. So I look forward Thank to you. seeing this one as well. Well, so Hopefully, thank you yeah. for sharing, honey. Thanks. Okay, my lovely, tell me what am I looking at? Right, this is Couch Dragon by Randall Spangler. It's a hate. He's gorgeous. Look at him reading his book. He's so cute. Lollops on the sofa. Okay. Is that my inner soul speaking to me? Couch Dragon, that's pretty much me. Well, it's my, it's my inner soul speaking to me. I don't get to do it very often, but it would be lovely if I did. Oh, yeah. So let's have a so little far. look. Oh, wow. Look. Now, you do quite a lot of block colour. You pick a colour and then you just stitch with it, don't you? Usually. I do occasionally pick up a little bit of confetti and you know, sometimes they alternate between the two so it's not quite so all the confetti at the end. It depends what mood I'm in. So how do you decide which bit gets stitched exactly? Oh, or do you just I, pick a colour? I go down the list and pick up a colour and decide what sort of area I might want to work on or add to and then I go down the, the colour list tapping and seeing which bit so goes near. do you pick like the colours that have got the most stitches in in a block? Like, or, or together Some, so that you get sometime, like a bit of blocky type sometimes stitching. I do yeah or sometimes if I want to work on a particular area like if I wanted to fill in this arm or the sofa for example I zoom in on that and then I do a search for that symbol and then I do a few stitches and then I do the confetti bit just depends so no oh, rhyme or reason no. you just do what you want just just what I want when I want whatever mood of me see this is it's bizarre because I've never ever approached a full coverage like this in fear that I would go wrong with my count in all fairness that's why I, I, I when I discovered gridded fabric I was like I yeah know. but even in gridded fabric it doesn't help for me because apparently if it's more than 10 I still struggle but oh. I love the fact that I can sort of see like you say you can sort of see the arm of the sofa you can so see the, the book yeah this is like the, the tail of the dragon. This is the back of the sofa. And you've got his TV here. So whereabouts are you working right now then? Oh, I'm doing the back. I'm doing this red around the back of the sofa because it's actually on a red sofa. And there's a lot of red in this bit here. So I thought I'd get some of this block, block colour done. Love it. Love it. So how long have you been working on it? No idea. I have a lot of whips. A I lot, a lot of do. whips. I, I know, don't know. Do. And I just know. work on what I want when I want. I love it. I've got my duck there. Do you want to see another duck? Let's see another duck. Right, so this is your duck. Yeah, I'm doing Zen duck. Zen duck. Zen duck. It's my posh duck. Your so posh duck. Right way. I don't want to show you the back because that's just a mistake. Right, so this is. And again, you're doing this the same way, aren't you? Where you're picking some colour and yeah. then you're. Yeah, but obviously without the gridded fabric, I'm just. How are you coping with doing it without the gritty fabric? Is it a bit more tricky? Actually, a lot better than I thought I was. I thought it would be, but it's not too bad. I'm not going, I'm not counting out too far. I'm just going, you know, a small amount at a time, and then I'm sort of linking it together. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm yeah. working out, and then I'll fill in, and then I'm filling in and working out a bit further. So that's absolutely lovely. We're well, making fabulous progress. Yeah, and this is—I was a bit confused when I got to this bit. I was like, "What is this?" Thinking it was his head. I thought he's very short in the body. Yeah, you know, I've got a lot of fabric left, but apparently this is his little hands crossed, his little oh, wings crossed. Yeah, he's got his little wings crossed. And then I got to these blobby things. What? Well, it's the budgies. It's the budgies. It's the budgies. It's the budgies. Oh, lovely. And his, and his, see, he's got a little row of budgies on his hand. He's got hands. a row of budgies on his hand. And it was a row of budgies. Hang on, let me get this to focus in on the, the budgies. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, yeah, but he's gorgeous. 
love, love, love. Well, look, thank you so, so much for sharing, okay. sweetie. I look forward to seeing that in the next retreat then. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my lovely, tell me, what are we looking at here? Uh, so this is Mortal Kombat uh, by Birdie's Crossing. Birdie's Crossing? Yeah. Is that, what? where's that? Is that an Etsy? It's an Etsy shop. It's an Etsy shop. Oh, and the wow. reason I'm doing that one is because I'm a little bit of a walker. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> You've got your own little instant yeah. one My on your own on. Stamped on yeah. Look at that. So uh, yeah, I can see I can see the relation now. <laughs> so let's see where you've got to. Uh, I actually started this off lunch today. Really? Yeah. This is my new start for this weekend. New start? Yeah. Fabulous. So, and I'm about two and a half percent through. It's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot better than I've done all weekend, which is really quite embarrassing. Um, what fabric are we doing this uh, on? This is 14 Count Edo Rustico um, from Sewing Lovely. So, um, and how long do you think it's going to take you to get it done? This one, I'm hoping no more than me on and off for about four months. About four months? About four months. So are you a monogamous stitcher? Do you just no. stitch on one? No, I no. have another one I've been working on. Oh, do you want to show us that as well? Yeah. So this one is um, Oriental Beauty by Joan Elliott. Look at that. And this is her here. Oh, wow. So I've started from the bottom. Yeah, let me just, if I just lift yeah. that like that, that's it, because okay. we've got some glare going on. So I've started from so the bottom. So where are you? Down I there. usually always start mine on the top left, but I'm not doing this background bit, so I thought I don't want to count all the way into there. No. So I've started down the bottom, and I've gone <gasps> in. Look at that. So I've done all of this since yesterday and up to lunchtime. That's fabulous. Yeah. You've done so much. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. So how many so, whips have you got then? Now that I've started this and this, uh, ten. Oh, that's not too shabby, is it? Uh, three of them, four coverages. Well, again, still not too shabby. <laughs> You'll yeah, go after so my own heart. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I usually do four coverages, but I bought these um, this weekend. To, so to how long this. do you reckon it's going to take you to get this one done? This one, I'm hoping. I've done a long dog sampler in nine months, so I'm hoping this is less. Mm, you don't like to challenge yourself too no, much, do you? Lot, no. So are you are you enjoying yourself at your very first ever retreat? I am. I'm loving it, even to the point that I even booked onto the um, Marches retreat, and I'm bringing a friend. Well, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Well, so, so if you're coming in March, to be I was going to say, yeah, if you're going to bring this one, one what, yeah. are you going to bring this one as well? I'm not sure yet. I might bring one because I bought another London today, so I might start yeah. <laughs> So your 10 just turned into 11 without you even realising it? Pretty much, yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, look, I can't wait to see yeah. you at the next retreat. So you're coming in March? I'm coming in March, yes. And hopefully... Hopefully this one will be done. I look forward to seeing that. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing. <laughs> Okay, we have seen this little beauty before, haven't yes. we? Let me have a little look, get it out of the glare. How gorgeous. Now, it reminds me, who's this by again? It's the Art of DMC and it's called Forest Cat. It's the Art of DMC and it's Forest Cat. Yeah. I love it. Look, I didn't even notice that it. it's got that little butterfly yeah, yeah. up there. I haven't done that yet. You haven't got to that no. bit yet? Well, I need to show this to people because obviously you look at the picture and you like, yeah, well, that's not stitched. But once you see it stitched, it's not going to look the same. Look at this, people. I have to share this with you. Who do you look at that? How amazing is that? Look at your beautiful stitching. Look at that little face. Oh, my. And I mean, I'm, I'm a dog person, as you know. I'm, yes. I'm not really a cat person, but... Even I absolutely love this this picture. It's just so detailed. And you can just see so much in his little face. You want to stroke him? You could, can yeah. you? Are you a cat person? Uh, we've got cats, but you know, I like animals. Good. Yeah, Good. I, like I do that. wild cats and tame cats. And oh, all lovely. So, how far are we getting? We're getting down to his paws yeah, now, we're aren't we? We're, about we're, there. Well, we're coming down yeah. to yeah, just about this bit. Yeah. So, and what fabric could remind me? This is a 14 count. It was a kit. So, you know, all the stuff was um, supplied. Lovely. So, and how long will we be doing this one now? I started this on the 27th of February, but I haven't stitched on it since June. And I started again lunchtime today stitching. Oh my. So, so I've not been able to do much stitching this weekend at the moment. No. I've 
What have you been doing to yourself? I've been having an angiogram on Wednesday, so I wasn't able to use my you wrist. You wasn't able to use your wrist? Oh, yeah. my lovely. So I was doing the small one, but... I've well, decided now this. You thought you'd get this one out yeah. and have a little play. Well, look, be careful. Mm. Don't, you know. Oh, no, no, it's easier today. Good, yeah. good. So, when's the next retreat you're coming to? November. November? Yep. Are you going to bring a well, friend with us? Yeah, of oh, course. Cool. So if it's not finished, it'll still come along. But I did say in uh, January, no, no, March, that I was going to finish it, but. As I said, it didn't get done. But it takes as long as it takes. Oh, yeah. But look, we can see you again in November where you've got to, can't we? Hopefully finished. Hopefully. Well, I look yeah. forward to seeing it. All yeah. right. Well, look, thank you so, so much for sharing. Thank you. Okay, my lovely, show me, show me, what, what am I looking at here? Uh, so this is English Transitional Sampler, oh, charted that? by the Scarlet Letter a long time ago. A long time ago? Yeah. So the chart's a bit old-fashioned. Old fashioned. So it's a bit of a challenge to follow. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, How long have you been working on this old chart of yours? Um, maybe like four or five years. I, oh. do, I do a bit and then I pop it in the drawer and then I what, fish it out again. It's so hard. Um, yeah, I mean it's not it's not a speedy stitch because <gasps> it's outlined and then basically filled in. Oh wow! Look. So there's a lot of. You know, and they're, they're time to fill in a tiny bit. And they are like specialty threads, like special stitches, aren't they? Is it a lot of long, long thread? Like long yeah, so it's satin and... stitch and stem stitch in that, in the top two borders. And then there's French knots and queen stitch and a Florentine panel. Oh, so you just, you just yeah. love it, don't you? It's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> I don't know, you're doing quite well. I mean, you're moving down. I mean, you're on like the, what looks to be, to be like the third band. Yeah, the thing. third the third band. Uh, but the fourth band is basically solidly stitched. Oh, God. Yeah, I see so, what you mean. Yeah, I, I, do, yeah. I, do, I, do, I do see what you mean on that, yeah. that third band. But, you know, give it give it ten years or so, and it might be on the finished table. You know. When are you next coming? November. Are you bringing this one? Uh, maybe. See if I can. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, I've got other We things. never know what we're going to see when you come. Do, so, so I won't sit here and say we'll see this next time because we could see something completely other and different, couldn't we? Yes, easily. Right, yeah. OK, then we'll look. Crack on, darling. OK. Ma- okay. Mammoth job there. If yeah. I can see that, I wouldn't want to do it, that's for sure. No. Thank you for sharing. Okie dokie. OK, my lovely, show me what, what we're working on. OK, so yesterday's new start was the Galliana Sampler. Um, and I'm doing that in red on 18 count Zweigar Ada. It was a bargain, five euros in Cyprus, so I'm making wow. a of that. Look at that. I did 1% yesterday and 1% today, so 2% in total. That's um, a good start, my love, and that was just yesterday, was it, yeah, this one? Yeah, that's as a sort of consolation for the fact that tap dancers has disgraced itself. Why? It, it fell out with its corners. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, dear. So they're misaligned. Ah. So it's in the naughty step. So you thought you'd console yourself? I'd console myself with this. I like so, that. Okay, yeah. so that's, that's start number one. Yeah, and then start number two, which I started about five minutes ago, is that one. Oh, so little house near the, work, the bookshelf? Yeah, not going to take very long that at all, I don't think. So, um, so, and that's your... This is what we've done, what, like in the last sort of like five minutes? Yeah, something like that. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So how long do you reckon it's going to take you to work Oh, I'm not one? making any promises. I was foolish enough to shout my mouth off about tap dancers and that bit no. me on the bum so um, I'll, I'll take my time over these when, when are you next here? November. So are we going to see this one in November? Yeah I'll bring it back in November. Are we going to see this one in November? Yeah you'll definitely see that one in November. Right so should we see where you get to? Get to 10% on that one by November. Fabulous well look I look forward to seeing it next time. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay so we have Country Cottage Needleworks Count Your Blessing. This is what it looks like. And I have a very lovely lady here who doesn't want to be doesn't doesn't want to be heard, but she's quite happy for me to share her stitching. So here is this little gorgeous piece. Absolutely gorgeous. Although she did say that she doesn't particularly like the horrible fluffy stuff. 
And for those of you that know what I'm talking about, it's this. It's the fluffy whisper thread. So these little sheep have all got the whisper thread on the inside of them, and they're very fluffy, but they are very, very gorgeous. And that is beautiful, beautiful stitching. But she's not going to put the writing. So she's basically going to stop where the line is almost where you are now. So it's almost a finish at your retreat, which is fabulous. So I just thought I would share that one. But it's, it's looking lovely and it'll be opportunity to start something new tomorrow, Missy. Thank you for sharing your stitching with us. So we have the lovely Ema here, the Irish teacher. Hi, everyone. As usual, she is here over for the Essex Needles retreat. When did you get here? Friday morning. Friday, Friday morning. Early. When are you going? Tomorrow evening. Oh. But have you had a nice time? Oh, it's been lovely. Yeah? As always. So you've been doing a bit of stitching. I have. Yeah. And there's a lot more people here this time, don't you think? Yeah, it's really big. We, we've kind of expanded the room a bit. We have. Look, let's just quickly, I'll, I'll, I'll just do a quick quick flash round of the room. I know people don't like their faces on the camera. But, yeah, there's a lot of us and we're having an absolute blast and an absolute ball, aren't we? It's lovely. So, now, with all these people and all this chat, have you managed to get any stitching done? Some. Some. Are you ready to share? Yes. Let's spin the camera around and have a look. Okay, my lovely. Tell me, tell me, what am I looking at? Yes, yeah, so this is A Year of Flowers by The Drawn Thread. And there was the option to do it at a kind of taller grid or a wider grid, and I've opted for the taller version. So you're going with the taller grid. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Let's have a look at where you've got. Oh my god, look. How um, gorgeous is that? Yeah, I started in January, and I've been doing one block a month. So I'm actually up to date as of this weekend. Look at you. So every month you're doing your block? Yeah. And you've, well, you've done September. Yes. Has it got, it's got specialty, uh, specialty stitches in it? Some, yeah, not, not many. Not yeah. too many. So it's not too couple. testing, but it's got a few. Yeah. What fabrics that you're stitching it on? This is a 32 count opalescent by Sparkly's. I think it's an out of print. Out of print. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, discontinued. Discontinued. That's discontinued. probably a better word. Yeah. That is lovely, my lovely. Well, fabulous progress. Thank when am I next seeing you? Uh, March, I think. Back so you're the same place. Are you going to be bringing this to your? I will. I should be on the finishers table I was gonna say, in March. Like, hopefully. Wait, I, well, if, if if you've got it done by December, you should have it done. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I look forward to seeing it on the finishing table. Can't lovely. wait to show it off. Thank you so much. Bye. So, sweetie, tell me. So, what, what am I sort of looking at? So this is the freebie from Our Forest Embroidery. It's Alice in Wonderland, and this is the tricolour piece. And we think it was a mystery cell because it's all in sections and all that's pixelated. Right, so this is what was a mystery cell, but it is now a freebie. Is it yep. still free? Yep. It is? Yep. So if anyone wanted to go and have a little look, yep. they could go and, and you've got the this. choice of this one or the full colour one. Right, okay. So which one are you doing? I'm doing the tricolour one, and I started it this morning. So this is a new start? It's a new start today. We do love a new start when we come to a retreat, don't we, darling? Absolutely. Um, and what fabric are we, are we using here? So this is 20 count vintage country mocker. Nice. Nice. From Amazon. And what are we doing? Is it two over? So I'm doing two over one, and I'm using variegated thread, threads, because they have their own threads, but I've just subbed in. Also, oh, show, show me your threads. Show, put, put your threads on here so, so we can got, have a little look. What have we got? DMC 115. So these are DMC variegated threads? Yeah, and I think this one is Light Effects. It's DMC 4000. Oh, wow. And how are you getting on stitching with those? Lovely. They're lovely. Yeah? Yeah, no really problems? nice. No, no problems. I know that some people have, like, you know, they have some issues with some of these different no. threads, but you're, you're doing all yeah. right with them? Yeah, they're absolutely well, fine. Well, I think they're coming out lovely. Those, mm. those colours are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. So... If you've only just started it, how long do you think it's going to take to finish it? It won't be finished by March. It won't. <laughs> Are you going to bring it with you on March so we can see where it's at? Yes. Then I'll look forward to it then. Thank you for Thank sharing, you. my lovely. Okay, my lovely. Tell me, what is it we're looking at? So we're looking at 
then have it in our design that says Sylvia by Hannah Lynn. That is gorgeous. Look at those colours. Very jolly colours. It's very jolly colours. It's very vibrant, isn't it? Yes. So, and this is your... Now... You need to explain to me. We're upside down, aren't we? Oh, we are upside down, just because it's easier to work on the right of the frame rather than on the left. So that's it. Not for any you, other special reason. Do you do this for all projects? Do you do it upside it down? It will go. It will go uh, the right way up once I'm done with this section. So when you, I work on the left, it will go upside up the right. Ah, way up, so, so you sort of flip it upside down when you're working on the right, and then you turn it around the right way when you're working on the left. Yes. I get that. I get that. I do really get that. Um, so, how are you stitching this? Are you doing like you're not doing blocks? It's not cross, cross country. It's. Uh, I basically start. I, it's a bit of a mix, but mostly I start with the, a section and I use the start with the color that's needed and then I take the thread until it's ended. So right. it's kind of a mix of blocks and cross country. So it's a little mixture. Yeah, oh, I like that. So kind of when, when did you start this? Um, two years ago. <laughs> okay then. So. Um, is one that doesn't come out that often. Not it? that often. It comes out at the retreat. So. It comes out at the retreat. So when when am I likely to see this again? Uh, again in, in November. In November. Yes. So we can we can revisit it. Yes. All right then. I look forward to seeing it then. Thank you for sharing, my lovely. Okay, my lovely, tell me, what am I looking at here? So this is really the two charts and designer stitches. I uh, started it yesterday. Oh, so it's a, it's a new new start then? It is, yes. Designer stitches, um, Winnie the Pooh. Just for a lady off Facebook on um, offering to stitch projects for other people. Oh, look. Just started the letters. Lovely. So, and you started this yesterday? I did, yes. You haven't done too bad at all, have you? So, yes. Yeah. Hopefully, I get another letter in today or tomorrow. And what fabric is that? Is that like I a. I think it's, it's eight, 18. 18, I think the packet says. 18 count 8. But one over, one over one. Lovely. Lovely. Just how we like it. Yeah. So, how long do you think it's going to take you? Uh, probably up until maybe Christmas, maybe. Yeah. So, you're months. monogamous stitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so, so all one, at a, one at a time, girl. Yes, yes, afraid so. When are you back? Are you coming back? November. November. Are you going to bring it with you? I will do, yes. Right, so we get to see it then. Yeah. All right, not that I'm holding you accountable, all right? But thank you so, okay. so much for sharing. No worries. Oh. Okay, my lovely, tell me, tell me, what, what am I looking at apart from two very gorgeous ladies? This is Mirabilia T. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, this is my Theresa oh, Mirabilia. Is, really? is he really? Yeah. Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> my okay. first ever Mirabilia. That is, what, so this is your first one? Yeah. Oh God, you have a little look, see where you've got to. <gasps> Would you look at that? Look at those colours. It's so nice to stitch. Are you enjoying it? Really enjoying it, yeah. I started it and did loads. Then obviously started something else and it got put to the side. But I've got it back out again and I'm enjoying it again. So are you getting sort of hooked on it? Yeah, I love it. So what is this fabric? Because that is a gorgeous fabric you're, that you're stitching this on. This is Paul Stitcher's Grass to Sky. That is lovely, isn't it? I thought it made them look like they're outside. Have an afternoon tea. Afternoon tea, literally, darling. Yeah. That is absolutely gorgeous. And what, so what, what count is that? That's 28 count. 28 count. You're doing it two over two? Two over two, yeah. Lovely. That is absolutely gorgeous. So, how long has it been going on for so far? Uh, since January. Since January. But I've not touched it for about six months. So when do you think it's going to be done? I'd love to have it done for the March retreat. Yeah? Yeah. Are we holding ourselves again? Uh, we are. <laughs> then I will look forward to seeing it then. Thank you so, so much for sharing. Thank you. Okay, my lovely. Pumpkin patch. Yeah. By Caroline Manning? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. This is, let me have a little look. So, just, um, is it all the same? Yeah, this is from the Broken Star collection, so it's a little bit more random. Right, okay. The shooting star ones. Let's it's have nice. a little it's look. Autumnal and pretty colours. And oh my God, would you look at me? that? Look at that gorgeous stitching. Oh, thank you. Come on, tell me your stitching doesn't look amazing in there. Look, look at that. I like that. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's just nice to do. Just is it know. mindless stitching or is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Also, I, I heard somebody say online that if you do like the lines down of the triangles, yeah, because I started doing it like that, that then you can fill all the bits in and it's a lot easier. And how are you finding that? Yeah, no, I'm finding that's working. Yeah. And it's, what it's, fabric is this that you're stitching? I think on? it's just a 16 count Ada, but it's not going to show. No, because it's, it's like, a full coverage. full coverage. Then I thought I might mount it on like a. Like an artist's canvas. Oh, very and just, nice. And just 
turn the edges over, sort of staple the edges down. That's so, lovely. So it won't show. That is absolutely lovely. So when did you start this? Oh, last year. But I hadn't picked it up until a couple of days ago. So, yeah, I think I'm going to... And then I'm starting one with the cat next door. We're starting the garnet one next week when she gets back. We're starting right. another cow in the So how long do you reckon this one's going to take? Or is it just as and when? Yeah, but I think if I actually worked on it, it wouldn't take long. No? Yeah. Well, when are, you, when are you back? Probably not next year, unfortunately, because I might... Yeah. We're going somewhere else. Might be in Australia in March. Well, I know which one I'd go to. It would definitely be the Australia. So, well, you know, the Grand yeah. Prix, so. Well, then enough said. Well, look, I will see you at the next time, and when yeah, we do, yes. we can we can yeah, catch up and see where you've got to. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thank Teresa. you for sharing. Well, we know which one this is, don't we? This is our lovely Megawee. Mm. And tell me. Who yes. made you do this? You did. <laughs> <laughs> Although I was very delayed because I had to wait till June to get everything. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's you, when you I had like the massive it. delay yeah, on it. Yeah. And yet you still managed to get further along than oh, me. So that's, well, yeah, enough said there. You set me a target. I've got well, to have it done by next bell, haven't I? So, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, let's not... Let's not pay any attention to targets <laughs> since his mind's not moved oh. for some time. So we'll, we'll let you off. But okay. you're doing very well. It's nice, actually. It's a nice one to stitch. I do put it down and then forget about it. And yeah. then I start again and then I start to enjoy it again. Yeah, so. but you're, you're not a monogamous stitcher, no. are you? You've got like a whole... Well, like 20-odd-ish. So it's not too shabby. Two new ones added today. Oh, <laughs> so, really? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, see, so I've got a new start that's supposed to be started today. Although we're now at, what, half past six? That's the time. And I've still not done a stitch all day. But no, I have haven't. gone round the room and done lots you, of recording. You've been busy. You so I've been, been a very busy girl. And yeah, we've done... Raffle. We've done raffle, and then tonight we've got bingo. bingo. And you learned crochet. And I learned crochet, oh, yes, which so I will good. share on the video. Don't worry, Isabella. They will see my really dodgy-looking square. It's not dodgy. It's a work in progress. Oh, everything's a work in progress. Yes. So, yeah. well, when are you? You're back in November. I am. So, um, but, yeah, and I'll see you at No Bam if you're at No Bam. Yeah, so, I'll be at No Bam. Yeah. Are you going to bring this? Oh, yes. All right, then. Yeah, so we'll, like we'll see it where you get to at No Bam, yeah? Yeah, maybe I'll be a little bit more. You never know. Yeah. I, might, I might just pull mine out and put a few well, stitches yeah. in just so that I don't feel nice. like I've got left behind. Yeah. You never know. I might still start doing some live streams if I'm if I'm not careful. <laughs> when, when when life sort of you know when I can kick life down the curb and I can be normal like a normal human being. Yes. Um, yeah. That's fabulous, my Thank lovely. You. I look forward Thank to seeing you. it in October then, yeah. and again in November. And again in November. All right then. Cheers, honey. Thank you. Okay, my lovely. Tell me, tell me, what am I looking at? Uh, so I'm doing uh, Fish and Ships by Long Dog Sampler. Oh, um, wow. Would you look at that? <laughs> I'm using Silks for You, um, a variegated hank. Don't ask me what the colour is because I can't remember. <laughs> Have you got it? Um, a hand? Uh, I have, sorry. I'll have to just go and stretch. Down. I'll, I'll, I'll stretch. just sort of like hover above your head. Yeah, that's all right. We can do that. Um, so, yeah, look. these are the colours. So they've like, been separated. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Look. Oh, so, you've got the number on it. Oh, so oh, this yeah. is, people, if you're loving it, look at the colours. I love this colour. Mm. This is a PR193. Three. Three. Yeah. And it says silks for you? Silks for you, yeah. Look at those colours. Look at those colours. <laughs> How fabulous is that? I am, Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That is yeah. absolutely gorgeous. So how long have you been stitching on this one for? Um, so I started this last month. And that's sort of like 25% of the way through. So I'm hoping to get it done by the end of the year, I think. Oh, my God. So yeah. are you coming to any more retreats? Um, not this year. I don't know about next year. Depends if you let me on. <laughs> is there any particular ones you was looking to come on? Um, I think it's the September one. I think she's waiting for dates on. Because well, have, they, have they been released yet? Not no. yet. Yeah, not yeah, yet. the September one. As soon as they're out, you need to watch for that Facebook post. So when that happens, can I, if you are lucky, if you are one of our lucky our lucky attendees, are you going to bring this back so that we can see it? Oh, yeah, it'll definitely be finished by then, definitely. Oh, fabulous. Well, look, <laughs> I absolutely love those colours. Absolutely love those threads. And I look forward to seeing it when it is finished. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> thank you. OK, I have a very, very lovely lady here. So tell me, tell me, when what what is this chart that I'm looking at? This is a sampler. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a kit. 
that I bought a long time ago. Yep. And, and I started a um, couple of weeks ago. So this is a couple of weeks of progress? Yes. That is a lot of work for a couple of weeks of progress, do you yes. not think? But what I was monogamy stitch. So you only stitch on one project no, at a time? No, not this time, yes. I started and I, I continued to stitch and stitch and stitch on the same. Lovely. Let's have a little look. Look at that beautiful stitching. All them gorgeous colours. So you do, So you're going around and doing the border? Yeah, I start <laughs> here yep. and then... And then stitch around? And then and then I go down. Right. Okay. So are you going to go all the way down? Because obviously when I'm looking at this picture, so let me yes, see this picture. Yes, I'm here. No. So you're here. So will you do this? I'm and then... trying to do this. So I will change colour. Yep. And then try to... So I was going to say, would you do all of this out the outside and then leave the flowers till the minute? No. Or are you going to sort of do... I, go in, I just follow the follow line. Follow the line, yes. Lovely, lovely. I don't think I will put this. No. I don't like to stitch the... No, no, all the words, all the words. But this bit is gorgeous, isn't it? And also this. Yep. These are special stitches. Oh, lovely. There is much hope. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, look, thank you so, so much for sharing. It's gorgeous. Thank you.